Yo, it's your boy Dre Moreau. I already know you know I'm cooler with Big Mouth Media. My boy Mel Major. What's going on, man? It's your boy Mel Major. Today we on Big Mouth Media, man. I have an artist in the building, man, by the name of Drake Murrow, man. What's going on with you, man? Cooling, bro. You know what I'm saying? Blessed to be here, my guy. Certified, yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, we supposed to do this interview probably maybe at least like a year, two listen, years, bro, man. Listen, bro. This one is years in the making for sure. But we here, you dig? Certified, <laughs> certified. Yeah. So, um, for people that don't know... Who are you? Cause you know I do a lot of rappers. You feel me? And for they sure. probably thinking that yo, you another rapper. If they don't know you already, man. So who are you, man? What you, what you do? So listen, man. I am Dre Moreau, national R and B recording artist. You know, I sing my ass off all over the place, bro. That's what I do, man. I right. give him that real R and B shit. <laughs> certified on here, and I certify that, man. He is. He, he nice. He he good at what he do for real. For I real. appreciate that, brother. So do one um, thing, man. Try to. How how'd you get started doing music and stuff like that? Oh man, I got started not too uh, not too far away from here, man. Out in uh, Stem, North Carolina, out Mount Spring Baptist Church, bro. You said Stem, North Carolina. Stem, North Carolina. Where the hell man. is that in from Listen, Raleigh? Listen, man, that's that's about forty minutes from Raleigh. Okay. Uh, it's out in the country, man. Out there in Granville County, that's where I grew up around. You know what I'm saying? That's where my origins is at. But uh, mm -hmm. my grandma, bro, she was the director of the youth choir out there at Mount Spring Baptist Church, and that's where I started singing for real. Um, my mom's, she was heavy playing all types of music. I can remember my earliest memories of music is being in the back seat listening to my mom's playing all types of shit like Jodeci, yeah. you know, all the real R and B joints, and that's where. That's where I got mine from, for real. So, yeah. So, um, you said your um your mom's used to play out of all the the um different types of like music growing all up. All types of music, bro. So when you start hopping the R and B, and then the content that you have to have in your music, was your mom surprised about so, the content you have? This had? is what's wild, bro. I've always with my pen, man. So a lot of people don't know when I started writing music, mm -hmm. I started by taking my poems. I used to write poetry in middle school. Okay. That was like a big thing that I did. I was big in the literature and writing and reading. So mm -hmm. it was natural for me to take my poetry and make them into songs once I figured out how easy it was. So that mm -hmm. was how I started writing my first songs. And a lot of it was like very like love based and very like heavy, like, you know, me feeling like I was the one for all of the women of the world and shit. And my mom used to always be like, what you know about yeah. love? They're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. All types of shit. But hey, man, you know, I just, I caught the bug early. Right. So you felt like you, know, you had, you, why, why did you feel like you knew about love so early though? Man, like? bro, you know what I'm saying? We know everything. <laughs> <laughs> we know everything, man. It's just about learning about the shit, educating yourself yeah. so you can take it all in and understand it all. You know, yeah. I ain't have no understanding of love, but I knew about it all day long. So I was right. just talking my shit. Facts, yeah. facts. Um, saying that, when was the first time that you actually had sex growing up? Man, that's a good question, bro. Um, Could you really? Because I, I, people probably like, yo, why you asking this man that question? Yo, if y'all ever heard his music, his music is real explicit. Right? He did, you know what I'm like, saying? Like, he, he made, he got, he like, he's like Usher with yeah. a, with like a little splash of R. Kelly, you feel me? Not too much yeah, you Kelly, you feel me? He got a little splash of Kelly hey, on listen, you, feel You know some real shit, bro? I'm glad you asked me this question because I don't even think, I'm certain the shorty didn't even know I was a virgin. I lost my virginity for real when I was 16, okay. right? But I did a whole bunch of playing around and shit before then. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, niggas with bullshit, all types, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I was never pressed to have sex, but shorties was always with it. <laughs> <laughs> so when I, finally, when I finally got off the leash, man, my yeah. mom started letting me, you know what I'm saying, yeah. move around like I wanted to with shorties, yeah. man. It was like, man, I'm going to try my hand at some things. Okay. It just went down like that. I always rock with older girls, so you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It was just a done deal. Oh, so you had an older chick and you were 16. Oh, yeah, for sure. For okay, sure. certified, sure. certified, certified. Yeah. So a lot of times, people that first time was like, yo, they like, yo, they say it was alright. They say, uh, well, how was yours? I would say the same thing, bro. That shit was alright. Like I ain't. <laughs> like I'm a, and I'm a. Listen, man, I yeah. consider myself a sex connoisseur now. Oh, okay, y'all, oh, shit. These all days, right. these days, a young player. Nah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, nah, man, I just I like sex like everybody. Like sex, you dig? But 
I know I ain't know I ain't know what to do with it. I ain't I ain't even have fun with it like I was, okay. like I needed to. So if you could go back in time oh, now, come and on, man, come on, shorty, know she, <laughs> she know what's up, man. I know she thinking about it right. She gonna watch this shit. She gonna be like, oh man, yeah, that shit would probably be all. Oh shit, she, <laughs> she gonna want the rerun, man. Oh, that's crazy, yeah. <laughs> so um, so fast forward um, I know when I got when I got hip to you, I heard you on Choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, Used with the song. The, um, shout out Choice 92.1 FM, man. So shout out my people over there. Shout out 20 Pro Fluent, um, Fresh, yeah, Jay over man. there. Um, yeah, shout out to everybody over there, for real. Everybody for real, over there, for real. A lot of love out there, bro. I fuck with them, for real. Sure, they, they show me all types of love. You don't even know. I had a show on there for a while on Sundays. Word? Yeah, man. When I was out here moving heavy, it was... 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Damn, I didn't even know. Yeah, Damn, I bro. came on your shit. Yeah, team. bro. I was on every Damn. Sunday, bro. Every Sunday. Just trying to work on my own on air personality chops, bro. I be trying right. to do all types of shit, man. Oh, shit. So we can do some shit on Big Mouth, man. For oh, real, I'm with it, bro. Say the word. For real, for real. I pull up, you dig? This podcast shit, for real. But, yeah, um, yeah. But when I first um, heard of you, when I first called, um, called her, was, was seen you or heard of you, it was on Choice, and it was the song, uh, I think it's You Know, The Joint With Dog. Oh, yeah, No, You Know. Facts. Certified. The Joint, before I even knew that you was from North Carolina, I liked the song, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Before I even knew. So, it was, it's like, it's genuinely me liking the song, because a lot of times, like, like because it's from North Carolina, we may be like, yo, we just may be like, whatever, you feel yeah, me? Like, yeah, for sure. It's things familiar, because it's from North Carolina, but I really like the song anyway, because... Even for Dolph part even got up there, you feel me? Because yeah, it's a relatable yeah. song for a lot of niggas out here, you feel me? Simple, simple. For real. This shit is just a bunch of real shit. And I know you know song. It's just a bunch of real talk in that song, man. Yeah. <laughs> How you on link up with Dolph on that? Uh, man, so my manager at the time, uh, this guy named Pocket, shout out to Pocket, he, uh, he put a lot of shit in play for me. And uh, he had worked on a record called California with Colonel Loud. Uh, yeah. Young Dolph T.I. Big record. Um, it happened to be Dolph's like highest charting song at the time when I was working with Pocky. And uh, we were in the studio, man. We did a two week stint at Patchwork Recording Studios in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, I was knocking out song after song. And No You Know was actually the last song that I did. We did that joint right. in about like 20, 25 minutes. Like, you know, quickest joint. I, did you know he was pulling up to the studio that no, day? No, so this the thing. He didn't pull up on that day. Okay. Uh, we did a record. Knocked it out. I had my boy Travis in there with me. And I always give a shout out to Travis because when the record came on, like I, I wrote the record on spot and we kind of just pieced it together. Mm -hmm. But he was saying that I already know you know, like over mm -hmm. and over and over yeah. again. So as I'm putting together the hook, like that shit just, it was like, <laughs> I gotta put that shit mm -hmm. on here. And it just stuck. Yeah. So we ended up, that shit just stuck. It was the staple. And that's how the record came about. But, uh, I'd say maybe uh, two weeks later, bro, my manager hit me. He was like, yo, I'm, I'm going to send it to Dolph, see what they say, see what, see if he rocking with it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, because once we heard the record, we like, we should get a feature on it. This would be a good record to, you know, send out to the radio, build some buzz around. So mm -hmm. that was the whole thing about it. We was trying to find somebody to put on it. We sent it over to them, and they was fucking with it mm -hmm. off the rip. I'd say maybe, like, not even the next week, that next Tuesday, I believe. Right back in Patchwork, man. Dolph came in, freestyled the record. I tell everybody off the rip, he freestyled it, came out and told me, like, bro, my son, it's a hit. Like, you got to run with this. If you don't run with nothing else, like, you got to run with this on my son. Man, it's crazy. For real, for real, bro. When a nigga tell you that, <laughs> nah, you nigga say, kids, like, on oh, my son. Yeah, his kid, yeah, you got to run with he, it. He ain't got to say that shit. He ain't nah, got to say nah, that shit. That shit just ain't shit. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. Yeah, That was respect, bro. I really Thanks. rag with Dolph for how he came in there and handled that too, man. I'm not, I'm not, that was my first experience kind of, you know, trying to work with somebody in the industry and it was just cool to see him come in and just handle that like it was nothing like work, you know? Thanks. Right, um, what you saying that being like your first time working with someone like, like a big name or someone in the industry like that, do you feel like you got out of the situation which you wanted out of it or what you expected out of it? I know a lot of times well, with I artists didn't, when they I do didn't songs. go into it wanting anything. I'm just, uh -huh. I'm a I'm a man of moral character, like mm -hmm. first and foremost. So it's just like you know I don't know what I expected, but 
I was just glad to see, you know, bro was just humble, like, you know, he was yeah. dope, like, he was just yeah. cool, and, you know, just like I was in there, I'm Dre, making mm -hmm. a song, bro, we yeah. about to make a smash, and that's mm -hmm. what we did, simple yeah. as that, it wasn't no egos involved, it wasn't mm -hmm. too much extra shit, and mm -hmm. I just respect that, like, I just, I love that, for real, for real, if everything yeah. could go like that in this industry, <laughs> I'd be a happy man, yeah. you know what I'm saying, at all yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> So from there, what year was that when he actually dropped that record? That was that was twenty sixteen when I really debuted the record. We okay. really pushed it heavy in 2017, 2018. So from 2017, 2018, what has changed since then? Cause I know that you said that um your manager at the time, so that means you probably got a different management situation yeah, going on yeah. right now. Yeah, so I literally just secured new management, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh it's a perfect fit. Uh, okay. uh just signed on with Nicole Lee, Adams Family Group. That's what's up. It's basically, it's, it's a family group. You dig what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's a real family situation. Everybody got the same vision. That's the biggest difference between 2019 Dre and, you know, 2017, 2018 Dre. I feel like 2020 Dre is just made up of a bunch of people having the same vision. We all feel like it's time. We got the content. We got the, the wave. And it's time to just build it up. Mm -hmm. Let the world see it. They're going to they gonna gravitate to this shit. That's just what's going to happen. So you got a project you about to get ready to put out? Ah uh, man, I'm working on all types of shit. I've been dropping like a slew of singles like okay. in, in the last few months. I just drop shit whenever I want to, but okay. we're working on a new project, of course. Mm -hmm. um, we putting it together now. Your, your artwork be going crazy for your projects. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I remember I one time that. you had somebody, I think, you was on, what you, was sitting on something, you had a female on you. you oh me? yeah, that was the uh, Young Nigga Old Soul mixtape, hosted by Bigger Rankin. Shout out yeah. to LG Bigger Rankin. That was a good project, man. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was one of my favorite shoes for real. Really? And that shit, like, that really... She'll be yeah. one of my favorite shoes. Oh, yeah, you dig on the about? Yeah, but nah, it just, that embodies the whole wave, man. Yeah. That shit, you look at that cover, it's like it's setting you up for what you about to hear yeah. in this music. Like, this is just some real, you know, some real lover boy type shit. You dig what I'm saying? Some real R&B. Facts. If um you could... Like collab with someone else, like in the industry right now. Who else would you like? Be oh, right now? I'd say nah, for real, off the rip. Lucky Day. I'm, uh, okay. I'm real into Lucky Day right now. He's Is that just, a female? A nah, it's a, it's a guy. He's well, an R and B artist. He uh. Grammy nominated. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Fresh. You know, I I I just think his sound is real modern but still has the hints of what R and B used to be. You know what I'm saying? I just really like I like soul, bro. I like. I like feeling the music, you know what I'm saying? That's right. that's what I'm about. So yeah, I'd say I'd love to collaborate with Lucky Day for real. Right. So the project you about get ready to put out, um, do you have like a title or maybe like a release? I don't, man. It? You know, I was thinking about that the other day. I think this one is probably gonna be self titled, um, because I, I, I haven't like put out for, for you right now. I haven't put out a real uh full length body of work. Mm -hmm. Um, I put out a lot of EPs, mixtapes mm -hmm. and uh singles, so you know, for this first full length release, I think the way I want to step out is just, you know, we're going to subtitle it. We're going to call it Dre Moreau. And that's really what it's going to be. It's going to be that real introductory vibe to where if you never right. heard Dre Moreau, you could listen to this project and you're going to catch that vibe off the rip. Thanks. You know? Thanks. Would you consider yourself like a visionary? Bro, I, man, I am what I am. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I just, yeah, I would consider myself a visionary, bro, because I got a vision. You mm -hmm. dig? You know, yeah. um, 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 it's, it's, I got tunnel vision on it, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm stuck on mine. Like, everybody knows what it is that I'm going towards, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do. So, yeah. my intentions are clear. For sure, sure, that's what I would consider the definition of a visionary. They have a clear vision and their intentions are clear, set on it. Mm -hmm. That's me all day, Thanks. for sure. So, um, for anybody that may have feel like you have fell off or anything like that, they haven't seen you or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. What do you have, or what are you gonna do in twenty twenty that you gonna really like show people like, or either do for yourself? Yeah. In twenty twenty, to really just push for Dream Monroe. Well, really you know, do? first off, I would say. Everybody has to rid the stigma of, you know, people falling off if they're indeed true artists. Because me as an artist, my, my whole life is about my artistry. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Everything that I go through, everything that I experience is a part of my artistry. So mm -hmm. if I'm going through a rough patch in life in my relationship or niggas having financial woes or whatever it is, mm -hmm. this is all shit that I'm about to take and bring it back to my music and that shit is going to be even stronger. It's, it's the makings of me. You dig what I'm saying? So. Yeah. 
whether you felt like I took some time off or I wasn't in your face, it's heavy. Like, you know, you just gotta know Dre always trying to strengthen this shit. Make sure I come back super hard whenever I drop. It's always gonna be this real R&B shit. So, you know to expect that from me at mm -hmm. the very least. Never feel like I fell off. No, I'm working behind the scenes at all times because I'm a visionary, like I said. I'm mm -hmm. clear set on this shit, you know, yeah. for real. Would you ever get into acting? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like oh, for sure, bro. I, I did an off-Broadway musical called uh, Dancing in the Streets. Okay. Yeah, yeah, back in 2014. I was a young guy. I uh, played Jermaine Jackson in the Jackson 5. Come on, man. You played Jermaine? No cap. No Chill cap. out, go, man. You can go YouTube that right now. You can go YouTube. Just YouTube Dre Moreau on ABC News, and it'll come up. You'll see a video of me and the group. We was performing. They oh, actually shit. did a whole segment on us. On the ABC News. Like, you doing some dancing yeah, out there? In New York. you going to see, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, yo, y'all, yo, when y'all get done watching this interview, y'all like go look that up on YouTube just right clip, after You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to embarrass myself too much, but oh, okay, yeah, man, okay. that happened. That was real. I done done all types of things, man. Just out here trying to strengthen the skill set for real. That's what's up, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Shit, man. We're right here on Big Mouth Media, man. It's your boy, man. Major, man. Is there anything. Did you want to let the people know, man, before we get up out of here, man? Oh, man, you know, I just want to plug, you know, make sure you go keep up with all of my upcoming releases at DreamerRoad.com. Uh, you can always go to HerNewFavorite.com and that'll take you to my latest song. Whatever I just dropped, it's going to take you right to that. So I say go to those links, you dig. Keep in tune with me, man. I'm working. I'm building out here. Like I said, I just locked in new management. We on the road. We headed to Chicago as soon as we leave here, for real, for real. So, you know, okay. getting ready to go out there. Yeah, I know your manager, when she had sent me the message earlier, she was like, um, that y'all was only in town for today. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I came in town, so. handled some business, man. Mm -hmm. We about to shoot out to Chicago, get some networking going on. You know, I'm just moving around. I'm shaking. So, hey, you, you can look for Drake Road you in your city. time out in Atlanta, too, right? Oh, yeah. I live in Atlanta now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where's like some of the one of the favorite places you've been within like the past few years? Like, I know you've been doing a lot of traveling. So. Oh man, some of the favorite places. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can give you my favorite off the rip. That was New Orleans. Why New Orleans though? Oh, I know man. a lot of people. They say their most favorite place Listen, is Cali. And this is another thing that you can look up and verify, man. On Bourbon Street, I got the most love I ever got anywhere. Like it just, it was like people was just gravitating towards mm -hmm. the wave. I was out there with my uh, background dancers at the time, and we was just we out there drinking, you know, yeah. we cooling. Just chilling, bro. Man, it's a video on YouTube. You can go see it. These shorties came up. It was like, you know, who you? Like, they was yeah. just interested, trying to see who I was. So, of course, I had the flyers on deck. This was when yeah. we was heavy promoting. No, you know, I was on yeah. a college tour, the HBCU college tour at the mm -hmm. time. And uh, I gave them the flyer. I'm like, I got a single out with No, you. Oh, they like, sing for us. Sing for us right now. I'm already knowing they gonna go crazy, so I'm like, chill out, man. <laughs> immediately I start singing, bro. I promise you, they all, all three of them, where I got them hands on knees, starting it back, like I'm singing, bro. This on YouTube right chill. now. I'm going to this straight out on Bourbon Street, New Orleans. Yo. A lot of love for y'all, man. You Come dig? On, so man. the vibes, the vibes is real, man. I'm telling you, man. Come on, man. That was that was definitely my uh my most favorite experience being on tour. Like that was a. That was an incredible vibe, bro. Word. Getting that amount of love from strangers. You know, people that don't even yeah, know. People you. actually love you outside your city more than they actually will. Oh, come on. Come, come on. on. That's how it go. That's how it go. But, you know, it's nothing, man. You're going to get all the love eventually if you're doing what you're supposed to out here. Fulfilling yeah. your purpose. So you was talking about playing one of the Jacksons. Um, yeah. I know Michael Jackson used to sing and actually make. Women actually fall out. Not even women, grown yeah. ass men fall yeah. the fuck out doing their show, doing their shows, shit. right? Shit. Like, could you ever see like that happening at one of your shows? Oh, you think it would happen? I mean, that's that's an aspiration. You know, yeah. that's what you consider a goal when you a real vocalist. You know, mm -hmm. and you care about reactions and yeah. stuff like that. Like, that's what I'm big on. I'm an entertainer first. Like, mm -hmm. I love to get the reactions of when I hit that run and, you know what I'm saying? Like, shorties can feel that. That's yeah. why they faint. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's why people fall yeah. out. It's because when that, you hit that note live, <laughs> it's different than listening to the record on the yeah. radio. And then when you can really hit that shit, they like, oh, this nigga for real. Yeah, a lot of people are studio singers though. Oh, bro. And I don't play that. I don't play that. Hold on, man. Before we get up out of here, man, can I get an acapella out? She just like, he ain't got to do nothing crazy. Like, touch me, tease me, I know what you need, and I'ma give it to you right now in the worst way, yeah, in the worst way, I'ma give it to you in the worst way, baby, in the worst way, I'ma give it to you in the worst way, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just a little okay, song, okay, you okay. Know what I'm but I ain't you playing. Don't need that, you don't need I ain't playing that live. Okay, okay I'm coming. Okay, okay. It's just simple. It's certified, just simple, man. Certified, she certified. wanna hear that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give it to her. That's real R&B. Certified, certified. Mm -hmm. uh, what you sipping on right now, man? You R&B singer, man. Coffee, bro. This is okay. coffee. Yeah, it's been okay. a long day. Make sure you have no opinion what you say on you. We on the road, man. Hey, listen. I told Shorty before we came. I'm like, yo, should I stop by the ABC store, man? I was like, nah. You know what? You heard what I said before this, man. some shit. That's what I. Did I not say that shit in the car? I said Mel might have some shit. I ain't even gonna come in there on Big Wild because it. I should have though. Hey, you could. You should have had though, but. Next time we got you. Oh, All right, real. man. I don't, I don't really like Henny though. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm gonna not, chase you. We'll get a I'm special really request. I'm really a say guy myself nowadays yeah. if I'm gonna go brown. Yeah, I like Ducey myself right you now. You know what I'm saying? Really it's gonna right. have to go like. I don't know. I feel like I'm a little older now. You feel I feel me? you. I feel, I feel like you. I like more like a grown. Like I'm a grown man shit. You feel me? It's sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. The bottle look kind of more sexy. You feel me? Henny feel like. Then you feel like I gotta go fuck somebody on the south side. Yeah, I feel like I need like, to go and holler at a ratchet real quick. You, feel me? you dig what I'm saying? Cause I got Henny bottle with me, you know. But when I got the Duce on me, it's like I must respect myself and these ladies. Yeah, you, you feel did. me? You feel me? Like While yeah, I you feel me? The Duce, you respect this luxurious cognac. I must. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a whole different vibe you on the Duce. I can't buy it, you, bro. You already know, man. That's how it gotta be when you really What time is it? On deck, man. Shit. I'm 740. Cool. Shit. Yeah, we been man. at it. Shit. The ABC store still open. Hey, man. Duce. Hey, Duce hey, might be the way tonight, man. He tried to get us in trouble. He tried to get us in trouble, man. We, uh, have, see, we you, got a couple hours before we need to see, be out. See, you got in trouble if you were drunk to Duce before you did the interview, man. I told you beforehand. I told you on my open book, bro. I got people coming and say some fool ass shit, man. People done robbed people. <laughs> See, <laughs> man, you gonna have niggas coming in here telling on they self, man. Listen, this is gonna be, this man, be a confessional. Like we you need did. to call it Mel the you Confessional. Did. They do, though. They come in here. Man, I'll just Lord drop a. the new single. Let's <laughs> get back. Because right. I'm gonna be running through my criminal record shit <laughs> on the damn interview. Oh, so you got a criminal record? Hell no. Nah. Oh, what hey. is that? We got, oh. <laughs> man, shit. We, we you got, got nice people over here. We clean. Okay, you okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna need holler, John. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? We get you right, brother. Certified, certified. We talk off camera. You got but, okay. yeah, <laughs> you dig? Next you single, this. you gotta get ready to drop. I have, see. This is crazy though. We finally sat down this interview because man, I done asked this man to pull up for numerous reasons. You feel me? Asking to pull up, do interviews, yeah, yeah. photo shoots, yeah, yeah. You know and like do features. Work. You feel me? Because I do music as well. A lot of people don't know. You feel me? I do music. As well, you feel yeah, me? Facts. I consider myself one of the hottest rappers out of North Carolina, you feel Got to, you me? But in the day, you feel me? Right now I'm doing interviews, and this is about Dre right now. You dig, you but dig. I done tried to get you to pull up plenty of times, man. What ha what have you been doing, man? Like, bro, I'm always on the go, man. Like I said, I, I'm a man that wears many hats. You know, I got a company called Nine Studios where mm -hmm. I do a lot of brand consulting. I'm working with uh, Blunt Effects right now, which is an air freshener and incense. Is it Blunt Effects? Yeah, Blunt okay. Effects. I don't know if you've ever. Yeah, heard. I've been going to um, tobacco store getting a few of them. Okay, man. so you yeah. already know. Yeah, yeah, we the best. We the best air freshener spray on the market, bro. Right. Two sprays, any bad odor, we getting rid of. You gonna come out with your own scent? scent? Come on, man. Man, just, just, on, just, man. just hold your horses, my brother. Okay, 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 okay. I ain't gonna, you know, everything uh, behind the scenes. We okay. actually just inked the deal, man. I just linked up the brand Word. partnership between the National Cannabis uh, Festival okay. and Blunt Effects. So we'll be out there in D.C. on April 18th at the Robert. April 18th. Yeah, April 18th at the Robert F. Kennedy Stadium. You, you say you'll be where again? April 18th. Listen, we at the National Cannabis Festival. Okay. That's in Washington D.C. That's on okay. April 18th, 2020. Met okay. the man, Red Man, and a uh, young and mayor headlining. The concert. Okay, out, young man. I'm gonna be out there on the blunt effects green carpet, you know, so you can come kick it with me, come take a picture. Like, you said on the green we, carpet? Yeah, that's how we going. You know Where I just smoke some weed out there on the green carpet? What you mean? Come on, man. We coming out with the cameras, you know man. It's legal, my boy. Yeah. It is though. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. April 18th. Meet me out there. Yeah, we out there. Big so mouth, we going doing. out there. We might so have to yeah. do a whole blog. So, out you know, when you ask the question, what you've been doing, man, I'm, I'm doing all this, bro. Travel. I promise. I'm working, bro. I'm getting it done out yeah. here, man. I'm just, I'm diversifying my palate. <laughs> a lot of people, because a lot of people, yeah. I, I say that because a lot of people, they get stuck in their city or just stuck in like where they at. I can't like, do it. I do you feel like mother. travel is necessary? I or credit can you my mother make it? for that, bro. I credit my mother for that. She moved around a lot, uh, traveling, you know, making, uh, making do with her own aspirations for her job. She's a engineer, quality engineer, so okay. she was running around getting promoted all the time. So we was moving. I spent eight years in Connecticut. I spent three years in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Like 
I mm. moved around a lot, bro. So because of that, like I can see and identify with the benefits of moving around and having a new area, a new way for you to get exposure out to new people. Like, bro, it's billions of people out here. You know, you can't stay in your one city because it's so many people that could get hit to your way if you just move around. You know, just get out here and see these folks. So that's what I'm on, man. That's what I do. I've been doing that for a while now, and I've I've been succeeding because of that. Thanks. Um, you been out here traveling and stuff like that. I know you've been seeing some beautiful females out here, man. For sure, bro. For sure. No question. What city you feel like has the most beautiful females, man? Oh, uh, man. I think a lot of a lot of people would agree when I say Houston, Texas has... Houston, Texas? I've never been to Houston, Texas, some, man. Oh, uh, uh, brother. Oh, man. They say everything bigger in Texas. Hey, listen, bro. Everything big, everything thicker. You dig what I'm talking about? Come on, like, chill out, man. No, nah, but they really, it, there's some beautiful women in Houston, Texas. Like, oh, yeah. I, I can say that for sure. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. By the bush full. Damn. <laughs> I'm a fool, man. Don't get me started talking about women. Hey, man, see, that's what I said, man. See, if you was on the do set right here, <laughs> it would have went a whole nother way. It would have went crazy, all the way left bro. field. It would have went crazy. You get some phone calls and then they ain't going to do it. Like, see, yo. that's what I told you before we started, man. I yeah. said, I ain't going to do it. Bro. I don't be trying to set people up just people yeah, that just do. fall into yeah, you it. Do. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah, nah, you be trying to set it up. No, I, I, I just be asking questions, And you got the set up questions. I'm hip to you, bro. Nah, man. I just be, y'all just ask questions, man. I try to phone the people, man. It's all love, bro. You already. Already, man. But shit, man, we right here on Big Mouth Media, man. We got Dre Monroe in this show, bitch, man. Yeah. Um, for some people that's actually just watching it, um, uh, watching this online, like, what is like, give somebody before we get up out of here a pickup line to go get a female, man. Like, they having trouble right now, man. Valentine's Day is what on Friday, you feel me? They ain't got no Valentine, man. Yeah, what can man. they tell a female, man, to get them Valentine, man? Honestly. Honestly, bro, that's that's you gonna eat shit. the butt. Oh, yeah, man. Let's see, you gotta tell her. I eat the you butt got... off rip. Oh, okay. that's how we come. Nah, nah, that's nah. how you get a Valentine nah, right man. there. I know, I, I know it. Bro, I'm definitely not coming with the pickup lines either, bro. I'm not okay. a corny guy like that, Word. man. I'm, a, I'm just yeah. I can a, tell though. You I, probably I, a smooth guy. You probably just be like, you probably Listen, just, bro, you probably just, just walk by. We talking about some regular shit, and that's just gonna segue. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna the vibe is gonna be there, bro. It creates itself. What you saying? Just be yourself. Oh yeah, I don't do all of that setting it up, extra shit. Nah, if I see something I like, then I, I just go over and we gonna let the rest sort itself yeah. out. You dig what I'm saying? Facts, facts, man. Yeah. That's what it is, man. But shit, man. This is amazing. Drake Monroe, Big you Mouth know. Media. For um, sure. Adams Family Management, man. Just yeah, signed man. in the deal. He just did the joint with Blunt Effects, yeah. man. That's new as well, man. So that's exclusive right there. Big Mouth, we got yeah, that right man. there, man. For that's real, exclusive real. right there, the man. National so. Cannabis Festival, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. April 18th. April 18th. Man. We, we definitely there. be out there, man. Meet me on the green carpet, you did. On the green carpet, man. We smoking the big weed. Carpet. We smoking big gas, bro. And, and Mel, let me just let the record show that we only, it's always something in the pocket. Oh, yeah, for okay. sure. It's so, 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 so you just listed a whole bunch? Behind uh -huh. the scenes, it's always it's, it's always some stuff we ain't never telling you. you okay. Oh, count that on means, it. That means count on to, it. Count on it. That not. means we might have to check back in like oh. another six months. Oh, that's no might. That's no might, my brother. Yeah. We we working, bro. Yeah, I, we gonna see you the cannabis festival man. anyway, man. Yeah. We'll be out there high and doing listen, our And you know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. From from where we are today, what's the day? February twelfth yeah. mm -hmm. to April fourteenth. Mm -hmm. Watch how much life is gonna be different. Oh yeah, for sure. Two mm -hmm. months from now, I'm, I'm putting it on record. This is Nicole Lee okay. with Adam's Family Group. Okay. Today is February 12th, okay. 2020 yeah. at 747, 747 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh -huh. Come April 14th, yeah. 2020, mm -hmm. Dre Monroe mm -hmm. will be in a completely different place. You're going to know his name and it's going on record right now. That's how we move. We right here on Big Mouth Media, man. Uh, shit, she, yeah, hey. Exclusive. She exclusive. You already Damn, know Damn, DJ, where would you find this one? <laughs> you know. Certified, man. Yo, Mel Major, Trey Monroe, yeah, Big man. Mouth yeah, Media. Man. Thank you for having Appreciate me, Appreciate you for brother. coming through, man. On, Yo, we bro. definitely come fuck with you up there, man, for in sure, Washington, man. man. You could actually, actually, um... Quan, he actually up in Big Mouth. He, big, the other guy from Big Mouth, he actually up in DC. So it's oh, like, yeah, that's a duck we definitely, y'all might as well mob out, bro. Yeah, Meet we definitely show up. Man. Man. We'll have a lot oh, of shit. fun, bro.
Yes, sir, man. Well, anything else you want to let people know? Forget about it, man. Uh, man, you know. Where can they go find you right now, man? Then you go look at me. Dot com, Draymond dot com, Draymond dot com. That's where you can find out everything. Tour dates. You can find out. You got some merch up there. I got the merch up there. Everything is up there. If you want to know what's up with Dray, go to Draymond dot com. Uh, go check out all the music. I just dropped a new single. Get your arch right. You can go listen to that right now. Get your arch right. Yeah, get your arch right, man. You know how the hell? How you? What you? How, listen to the how, song, my brother. It's all there. I mean, I already it's know. It's all but there. What Jesus say, say, say no more, man. It's all there, my brother. Say, say no I'm more, man. You, yo, I make the instructions straight. very clear, bro. If you ever want to know how you need to get an arch right, just put the song on. Dre Monroe, get your arch right. Yeah, go look it up, saying. man. Right? You watch it's the video, you want to go up. streaming services. Salute the Empire Distribution, man. Partnership still going strong. I'm distributing Empire. all my music through them right now, man. Everything's Empire, been waiting, man. so. They doing know, their thing for their artists on yeah, there. Man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, you know, get your arch right. Go get that everywhere. Go string that everywhere. Certified, man. Yeah, yeah, for Shit, sure. Man. Well, we up out of here. You already.